Okay guys, I don't know about you, but there's a lot of tension in the marketplace right now. Buyer tension and vendors tension. So how do you manage that tension in this marketplace today? Let's check out this episode on What's Up with CE. So I don't know about you, but one thing I do know is there is a lot of tension in this marketplace right now, and that tension is coming twofold. First one, it's either gonna be positive tension or negative tension. And I've gotta tell you, there's a lot more negative tension in this marketplace now. So how do you flip perhaps a vendor who's about to receive an offer and you're gonna present it, they're gonna get like really, really super, super negative, right? And this tension's gonna come up, but being a great agent is about flipping it into positive tension. So I wanna share with you something that we do with all our clients is to ensure that um, they can get deals across the line, make some sales and yeah, make some commission. Wouldn't that be great? Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, let me just draw this here. So on the top of the line, you're gonna have what we call is positive tension. And then down the bottom here is what we call negative tension, yeah? So generally, what you're gonna find is how are you gonna ease negative tension? Well, the first thing is, you're gonna to have to try and neutralize the whole situation. So when we try and neutralize anything, especially with a vendor in this marketplace, where they're feeling like they want a bit of love, you have gotta show this. You have gotta show some empathy. So when you show empathy, okay, a couple of things are gonna happen. Empathy to me is this. Empathy is, I care about you, but I may not agree with you. Is that okay with that? Is that what empathy can sometimes stand for? And sometimes you're not gonna agree with them because they're coming from a place of, let's just say, risk. If I take this offer today, am I risking not getting more money on my property? Or am I taking risk and I'm gonna lose a whole heap of money? Your job as an agent is to move people to basically feel like, they're like making a decision, not with negative tension, but over to flipping it into positive tension. So empathy can look like, I understand how you feel, Mr. and Mrs. Seller. We've had other clients just like you that have felt the same, but what we found is X, Y, Z. So let me just give you an example. Say for example, you were trying to get a price adjustment on a current property that you've got in the current marketplace. The first thing you might say to a vendor is saying, look, we've had the feedback, we've analyzed that feedback, and our recommendation would be, is to look at maybe dropping the price down to, let's just say they wanted 2 million, down to 1.9. And they might go, oh, we don't really like that, we don't wanna drop another $100,000, et cetera. And you might say, well, look, Mr. Sister, Mr. Seller, I understand how you feel. We've had other clients just like you that have felt the same. What they found is once we adjusted the price to 1.9, a couple of things happened. We had more buyer engagement on the property. What we also had is contracts being requested on the property. What we also started seeing is offers coming in. And then what they found is they ended up getting top dollar for their home. But other clients that decided to continue to stay and based on what we know and the feedback and, and the analysis of you know, what's been happening over the last three to four weeks with the sales campaign that didn't adjust or align on price, what they actually found is they had more days on market, they ended up getting less buys through the property, they got no offers, no contracts got requested, and eventually they end up selling for a lot less in terms of what they wanted. So my thing is this, guys. You need to understand how can you flip the negative into the positive, eliminate risk for them when they're doing this in making a decision, but understand you need to neutralize it. But the great way to do it is evidence-based, yeah? So they wanna go, has anybody else done this before? Or are we just the first people that are doing this? Evidence-based comes with a great case study. 
So what I would do is actually show people perhaps where you've done this, you've adjusted the price, they ended up getting a lot more buyer engagement, contracts went out, offers started coming on the property, and they ended up getting top dollar for their home versus some of the clients that you've worked with that didn't perhaps may have listened, ended up being a lot more days on market, getting less buyers, less offers, and actually got less for their property in the meantime. So here's what I wanna leave you with, guys, as we wrap up this episode. Good economy, bad economy, the best salespeople move the economy. Catch you next time. Was that okay? Yeah? Okay, just let me know. <laughs>